Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and it's my birthday today, and what better way to celebrate the birthday than when Mr. Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head, Slinky Dog, The Etch-A-Sketch, Toddle Tots, and Fire Trucks, Little Tykes, Mattel Toys, Mattel, Toy Story 2 for the N64. Not the PS1 version that has actual cutscenes of Toy Story 2 in it. The N64 one that I grew up um, with as a, as a child? Was I a child when Toy Story 2 came out? As a teen, I guess. <laughs> Playing stuff. Yeah, look at that amazing intro here. So, every year for my birthday, I typically play a game um, that I loved from my childhood. With The first one I did it for was for Wind Waker. This is a very odd example because Toy Story 2 has a very big uh, place in my heart. And it's a lot of it has to do with the fact that me, my brother, and my sister played so much of this that we can actually quote a lot of the weird things that happened in this game. So let's go. So back in the day when I actually originally, because this says you need a rumble pack to if you want to play with it, um, I couldn't save this game when I was playing it originally because you had to buy an extra accessory to save for Toy Story 2 because that's how bad gaming was back in my day. Uh, <laughs> they never tell you about the part where it's like, oh yeah, if you wanted to randomly save on Toy Story 2, you just couldn't. Uh, so I had to just learn how to beat Toy Story 2 every single day. So here's the story of Toy Story 2. Uh, Summer is here and Andy's off to cowboy camp. Red alert. Uh, Buzz and the gang look on as Woody tries to save another toy from being sold. We're going to skip all the extra stential crisis that Woody had in Toy Story 2. Not important for the game. But Woody is spotted by Al, a toy collector. As you can see here, Al steals Woody. <laughs> they the, skipping a lot. Even Buzz Lightyear is helpless to save his buddy. He tried. Nothing worked. Alright, here we go. Here's the game. In all the glory of the first person Buzz Cam. <laughs> you can see Buzz Lightyear's face right there, baby. Yeah, it is, uh, I've, I've also am stuck in buzz cam. There we go. I'll leave it. There we go. Kill the shit out of these guys. Pick up some coins. Let me see if I can, uh, better remember these buttons. Alright. There is a spin. Oh yeah, I'm playing on a real Nintendo 64 controller and not a, um, PS5 controller. That would be silly. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting the feel of it. So you have to collect the. This is back in the air. If you're wondering what kind of game this is, it's a collectathon. To see, to see the push icon, you can run into the object and push it. Run out of the way. Okay, you got it. We needed a tutorial for pushing. All right. If I remember right, you can jump off the. Okay, no. I was thinking of something else. If you press A button once and then press it again, you can do an extended jump to reach the uh, other drawer. Neglecting the fact that you needed to do this to even <laughs> reach this far, you should already know how to do it. I'm gonna say, even though those uh, PNGs look like shit, this actually still looks kind of nice. It's <laughs> uh, probably my, my nostalgia at play, though. You can jump onto the zip line and slap down and press the A button to let go of it at any time. Alright, here we go. And here's where we get, I think, our first of things. It's an extra life, that's what's here. You can target your laser, got it. A and Z are, I don't remember what C would be on here, but this should be enough. Yeah. First person cam. Okay. All right. Kill this guy real quick. And we're good. That's all that needs to be done in tutorial land. Um, oh. Hey, Buzz, over here! You can grab onto poles when you are holding on, and you can push the control stick up or down to move up the pole. Got it. See, th these, this quote here of all the characters yelling at each other and just yelling, Buzz! Buzz! is the thing me and my brother and sister always quote from this game. Bo Peep has lost her sheep, and she is on the table in the kitchen. Got you. RC Car is waiting for you around the garage. He is through a hole in the garage door store. Down stores. Uh, so it is like a banjo kazooie, like I guess it's a it's a collectathon game. <laughs> is the is the right way of saying it. There we go. Hey Buzz! Buzz! 
All right, we can go up here. I believe there's something to do up here. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Yeah, that's right. There's a boss fight up here. Ha ha ha. Defeat the tin robot and get a token. Ah, shit. Um, the lesser known villain of Toy Story 2. The, the tin robot. But just as important to the overall story. Uh, I feel like I need to... There it is. I need to outlast him. That's what I need to do. There we go. Boss design has not really changed all that much over the years. If you just stand, <laughs> if you just kind of go in place, the robot will eventually just get tired, and you can open you up, open them up. There we go. Want to try again, my friend? They're almost there. Almost there. One more shot. Yeah, now you're dead. Oh, I missed. It's fine. One more shot. One more shot. I mean, this is just a sad state of affairs. And Buzz just fucking killed that robot. He's dead now. Keep on playing. So yeah, you can get, I think, a total of five of those things in this level. Um, and other future levels are walled off. Buzz? Someone just called my name. I heard them. Collect some more pig tokens. Look around. Yeah, I can definitely hear them saying buzz, but I can't see them. <laughs> okay, no, it wasn't. It was it was the boat peep. It's the sheep. All right, I have to go up there if I want to get them. Uh, how do I get up there? Is a very good question. There we go. That's how we get up there. We gotta push this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and this is this is just what I would play for the entire day at a certain point. I would say to myself, you know what I'm feeling in the mood for? Toy Story 2. And then that's all that I would play for the day. <laughs> Until it was beaten. Alright, alright. This is um... Ah, damn! Okay. Maybe not the most precise of gameplay. Or cameras. But, uh, we learned a lot over the years. Alright, there we go. I can get it. Alright. There we go. Get that battery for life. Kill that robot. It's crazy. They don't tell you this in, uh, the Toy Story lore, but Andy just bought a bunch, a buttload of killer robots. And they just hang around his house. It's fucked up that what it says about society. And of course, by Toy Story 3, all of them have been sold off. Oh god! Okay. We're good. Get that coin. And get the hell out of here. I think you can take fall damage, but I honestly don't remember. <laughs> you, you, you do, in fact, take fall damage. Hey, Buzz, over here. Okay. Alright. Camera. Alright. I'm gonna ignore that robot for now. I'll come back to kill you later. I'm gonna recreate the famous Toy Story scene where someone uh, slid down the banister. Alright, I'm gonna go back to kill that robot. Die, robot. Alright. I think you need 30 for Mr. Pig, if I remember right. If you bring me 50 coins! God damn, Mr. Pig. What, what do you need for that much money? Yep. I remember as a child not being fully... There's parts of Mr. Potato Head. We have to build up Mr. Potato Head. And that will give us another Pizza Planet token. There. Shoot that guy real quick. Alright. Get that up. Pick that up. Extra life. Pick up this Bo Peep Sheep. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Alright, I think there's a way to go from here. Okay, there's one of those. And then from there... Where do I go from here? Probably nowhere. Go over here, maybe? 
That was worth a try. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn, shoot this random blue robot man. Here's another surprising thing for anyone who was maybe born a little bit later. That's how big a TV used to be to be considered a family television. That was just acceptable in Andy's house. That tiny TV was enough for the entire family. And what would the family be watching? I don't know. Scooby-Doo, most likely. <laughs> Anything that was on rerun. Either it was Scooby-Doo or it was something that only the parents cared to watch. The Buzz Lightyear TV show was not on uh, when Toy Story 2 was on. Uh, I don't think so. I think I want to say the Toy Story, the, the Buzz Lightyear animated TV show wasn't until 2003, maybe? You can check it up. I'm pretty positive it was like two years after Toy Story 2. Buzz. Who had a TV show? Woody. Oh, Woody had a TV show. I guess it's different in the Toy Story universe, right? I guess, in theory, wouldn't, um... They could be watching Woody's TV show, but I don't think, um... That t the, the Woody TV show was, like, based off of, like, TVs from... The shows that were on, on during, like, the 40s and shit. In the 50s. I don't know how old Andy is. Nowadays. Yeah, but nowadays he is old. But I don't know if he was old enough to be watching that kind of TV show. I hear you, Bo Peep. She wants me to go over there, find her sheep, even though Bo Peep has very little to do with the, f the second Toy Story movie other than saying, here, give this uh, kiss to Woody. Which feels weird. It feels like a <laughs> weird moment now that I mentioned it. That, uh... It is, it is just a little bit weird. I'm not saying anything about... Um, let me push this about Woody's relationship to Bo Peep, but it is a little bit weird to kiss uh, your man's best friend and say, say this is for him. Because what, <laughs> what's Buzz going to do? Kiss, kiss him in the bow and he's like, this is for Bo Peep, and he gives him like a passionate kiss. He's like, damn, I can't wait to go <laughs> Find my five sheep. I only have uh, three, my bad. I thought I had the five. I have enough for Mr. Pig. Die. Come here. Well done, Buzz. Here's your Pizza Planet token. Thank you. The, yeah, it's a very good question. Keep on playing. I like that Buzz Lightyear looks at me to say, like, are we good? Would you like to keep going? I'm, the camera refuses to show his face until he's, you're ready to leave. Alright, we're gonna go trick a friend of ours into winning a race. This works at every single stage. Doesn't matter the upgrades. <laughs> It doesn't matter anything. As long as you constantly do this to RC car, he can never win. As long as you constantly <laughs> go in front of RC car, RC car can never <laughs> win the race. So all you need to do to beat RC car is not to have any kind of fancy thing at all. It's to just be in front of fan uh, RC car at any given moment. He has no response to this. And this is true for later on when you get upgrades and he goes faster. RC car will simply never be able to pass you. <laughs> the collision detection is not strong enough. As long as you're smart about it, that is. Because he'll try and like uh, flip you up. I'm just not going to allow RC car to get past me. See? <laughs> this kind of makes us seem like Buzz is some kind of unfortunate bully. Who is bullying RC car? But let me tell you, if we allow RC car to ride normally, he will outspeed us because he's a fucking car. Keep on playing. And then here he is, kind of spinning out in in complete rage. Yeah, just, just stay over there, mauled buddy. All right, we're gonna go shoot up some more things and go find Bo Peep's other sheep. I don't know where. I, oh, I know where Mr. Potato Head is. I was about to say, I have no idea what Mr. Potato Head is, but I actually do know. Ow. Alright, go here. It's also crazy to think about, so all of the- if you are unaware of this because you were a child, um, and only know the toys of Toy Story through Toy Story, all the toys in Toy Story are based off of real toys. And if you've ever seen the original version of Mr. Potato Head, I suggest you go look at it, because it's literally just a potato. <laughs> 
that they sold and said just put some stuff on it and there you go Mr. Potato Head and that was the original version of Mr. Potato Head and it's crazy to me that Mr. Potato Head is still a, a well known name and I think it only comes from this game not this game obviously Mr. Potato Head is not known due to the Toy Story 2 video game but due to the Toy Story franchise uh there we go I feel like that's another reason why so many of the toys were eventually taken out in Toy Story 3 was to avoid the licensing fees that they had to pay <laughs> to every single toy company because it's it's a lot of them. It's it's not just Barbie. Like Barbie is the most recognizable toy, but they have a buttload of toys there that are related to real life toys. I'd say etch and sketch is pretty iconic at the time. Yeah, etch and sketch. Oh, when I was a kid, I I I don't know if kids today are playing with Etch a Sketch, but I love the Etch a Sketch. Are you telling me that today's kids? I went to Walgreens today. I went to the toy aisle. There was no Etch a Sketch to just pick up. That makes me sad to know that today's kid generation. You know what? That makes me feel buzzed. Show them how I feel. <laughs> That's how I feel. Defeated. There's oh god, <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> hey Buzz over here and wow Buzz thanks now that I gave him back his ear he allows me his cosmic shield <laughs> thanks for you Mr. Potato Head and your cosmic shield to protect me from the green goop without your amazing shield I would never have been able to survive the goop as a kid I would always just I could never find the uh, it took me years to eventually find where Mr. Potato Head's fucking ear was so what I did instead was just uh, brute force it <laughs> Um, yep. I would also try and skip using this as well. Go through here. And then just... It's hard. It is. You have to go on here and then try and go up there. That's not the way you're supposed to go. You're supposed to go over here. This is the way that the game intends you to go. There we go. Go. Oh, shit. Whoa. All right. So you can see here, you can go for the goop. It's really not that big of an issue. Mr. Potato Head is just trying to pretend like his cosmic shield is better than it actually is. Uh, okay. Oh, I feel like I could... So that's Mr. Potato Head's entire character. Trying to hype up something that is not as good as it actually is? Yes. It's true. Poor Mr. Potato Head. Alright, alright. Uh, go in here. Zoom! There's the other sheep, and I believe that is it. Yep. Alright, that should be everything. Let me see if I press pause. Okay. I now had to go up the long ass way. But that should be every single Pizza Planet token in this level. I beat the RC car, I beat Mr. I found Mr. Potato Head's ear, which is not a Pizza Planet token, it is just a Cosmic Shield. Uh, Bo Peep Sheep. I think that's it. So, Buzz, over here. Here you go, Bo Peep. Thank you for finding the sheep. Here is a Pizza Planet token. And now, here's the best part. <laughs> He's gone. So there you go. Here's Mr. Pig judging my performance. I missed one?! I miss one? Mr. Pig is looking at me like, I, I can't believe you missed one, pal. <laughs> about this one? I forgot about that. I missed one. That's annoying. It had to have been in that underground then. Alright, I'm saving. Because now, thanks to the wonders of emulation technology, I have the ability to finally save while playing Toy Story 2. Emulation? Oh, I'm sorry. Andy's Neighborhood. Here we go in. Got the console pack. <laughs> yeah, my bad. The console pack version. Level 2 Andy's Neighborhood. <laughs> the only clue that Buzz has is Al's license plate. Buzz figures out that Woody has been kidnapped by the same Al that owns Al's toy barn. Buzz and the gang decide to... It's up to them to rescue Woody. We're not going to address why Bishop Potato Head has no mustache. Alright. And here we have everyone's other favorite enemy from Toy Story 2, the raving, uh, 
lawnmower. And all right, let me see. He's. I have to find the toy. This is the man that's yelling at me currently. I need your help, Space Ranger. Find my guys. They're gone, Abel. Yet Sarge. Who would eventually be put in his own game on the N64, Sarge's Army. Same universe. That would be insane if it was. It's the same premise. I think all, uh, green, uh, army Sarge's are Sarge. That would make the most- this is some bloopy ass music for this part. Alright, not there. This, uh, the draw distance on the uh, N64 does not make this level any easier. There we go. I go all the way up here to the front. God damn it. There we go. Yes, sir. I found one of them. I went through all that hassle for a single one of these dudes. Alright. That's a very good question. So here we are. Remember when I talked about RC car? He's like, okay, you're supposed to get like special shoes to race them. Don't need them. Because as long as you're always in front of RC car, RC car will never lose. <laughs> will never beat you. Sorry, RC car. Can't let you do that. Nope. <laughs> you're supposed to use the special shoes for this level. But let me tell you about my special shoes. Buzz's regular ass walking shoes seem pretty good at stopping RC car at every single given moment. Yeah, I never beat this level. Have you never beaten this level fully? I didn't know about that. You never? <laughs> you really? That's, I never beat RC. That's funny. I, I, this shows how much I played this game because I, I have the RC car tech down pat. It's it, it's much faster if you do it the way the game wants you to, which is for with the special shoes. Yeah, you don't get those until Al's Toy Barn, I think. If I if my memory is correct. So I just go through here, get that get get the fuck out of here. You ain't passing me, friend. There we go. <laughs> I have the same problem with DK sixty four where I just stay in the level to collect everything. Yeah, DK sixty four was that and that game specifically is not built to be able to be beaten the first time around. You have to literally come back and get certain Kongs in later levels. So, uh, took me a while, but... Alright, right before this puddle, I'm gonna stop RC's ass right here. Alright. I win. <laughs> yeah, mauled! Mauled RC! <laughs> get angry! Alright, exit level. That's right, only one in this case. I wanted to show off the... see if they would unlock the next level already. I should have enough Pizza Planet tokens to unlock the next one. Because I think next is a boss fight, if I remember correctly. Andy's Neighborhood. See? I don't remember if I, ever get, if I have to get that army man again. Bombs away. Yep, everyone's everyone remembers this part of Toy Story 2, where Buzz b starts beefing with a fighter pilot. <laughs> you can assume that this all happens while you're in media res looking at uh, Woody. This is the I'm also pretty sure I can hit him with this fucking twirly attack. But I'll shoot him down. When does the game come out? I want to say 2001, same year as Toy Story 2. If I were to really 1999, would Toy Story 2 release 1999? Damn. <laughs> in a post 9-11 world, you can never get away with a boss like this. <laughs> That's why I asked the question. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, probably would have been in bad taste if this was after 9-11 and they had a had you fighting a plane. Because there was a lot of censorship of this kind of stuff post 9-11. 
where you couldn't even like that. That's why they banned the Tentacruel episode of uh, of Pokemon because he attacked a tower in that episode. So they said we're putting this away. And then eventually, people realized it's very silly to ban episodes just because they featured a tower <laughs> being attacked. And that's just a common thing that can happen in any form of media. Alright, come here, plane. You're almost down. I also feel like this is one of those planes that was attacking King Kong back in the day. In the 1920s. Bam. Boom. Ah, damn. There we go. He's down. To He's dead. And <laughs> Boss defeated! <laughs> I would play a mod of Dark Souls that puts up this menu every time you beat a boss. With Buzz still in it? Yeah, with Buzz still in it. Just says boss defeated. That could be arranged. Can be. Waiting, saving, game saved. Construction yard. Meanwhile, while Buzz was fighting that fighter plane for some reason, Woody just trapped inside Al's penthouse apartment. He is greeted by three other western toys. Jessie, a rude and tootin' cowgirl. Bullseye, Woody's faithful horse. And a wise old prospector still in his box. They ain't gonna say his name, Stinky Pete? This is why Stinky Pete goes evil. Because of disrespect like this. Of people not mentioning Stinky Pete's name. Acknowledge. Hey. Exactly. Please acknowledge your tribal chief, Stinky Pete. Tribal prospector. Tribal prospector. Oh, the little tykes. See, this is another toy from back in, back in my day. I don't know if kids are playing with little tykes anymore. Oh. I feel like they're playing. They're playing with anything. They're playing with uh, or a Lego. Yeah, Lego. Yeah, like maybe a Lego. I don't think they're playing with little tykes. Damn shame. You've, you're missing out so much. I'm trying to see if I can unlock get to Al's toy barn because I think that is my favorite level in all of Toy Story 2. Hey, boy here. You can hear that little guy right there. Let me try and get to him. Shoot that robot. That poor, unassuming robot. Who did no crime other than be in Buzz, Buzz's way. Here we go. Whoopee! Got his ass. If you can mix the paint to match the colors in the wall, you will get a Pizza Planet token. Boom. See, people wonder why did people stop caring about the uh, the collectathon type of games, and the answer is it's because of games like this. It's it wasn't a DK sixty four. It was these kind of games eventually got on people's nerves. The ones where it's like, yeah, get a paint can and do this, and then you'll get a single pizza plant token. All right, let me go get get my perp in. All right, perp acknowledged. Get the other colors. <laughs> it's just uh, tedium beyond tedium for no reason. Here we go. Okay, go down here. That's green. Only two colors left. I assume, you know, at the same time, maybe there's some child who was just like, I don't know how the fuck to make orange. How do you make orange? <laughs> He was just stuck on this level forever. He had no idea that to make orange, red and yellow. I don't even need to look at it. I already know. Give me my pizza plant token. Alright. I'm exiting. To see if uh, Al's Toy Barn has been open. I think you need 10 to get into Al's Toy Barn, though. So I might not be able to make it in there. Oh man, you're just totally failing. That's another concept kids don't understand. I think the the piggy bank. Mr. Pig. Yeah, Mr. Pig. I don't know if kids are keeping piggy banks anymore. Not pig, piggy banks. Alleys and gullies. Oh, I remember this. Oh my god. Is this the level? Yeah, I think so. Woody discovers that there was an old TV show called Woody's Roundup. 
He also discovers that he is the missing part of a valuable toy collection that Al wants to sell in a toy museum in Japan. Woody tries to escape from a penthouse, but to no avail. Where is Bud Li Buzz Lightyear when you need him? Bud Light. Bud, where is Bud Light when you need him? Bud Light not here. Ah! If I'm right, you can just destroy him with this. Apparently not. I was wrong. Alright. I remember this level being the one I hated the most as a child. I think because there's parts of it that get very annoying near the end of it. And there's a lot of, like, circle jumpy puzzles. Hey, Buzz, over here! Hey, Buzz, over here! Buzz! There you go. It's just like our, uh, our cat is for constantly yelling at us for attention. <laughs> Non-stop. Alright, shoot this guy. Try to see if I can collect some of these coins from Mr. Pig. Rubber ducky. <laughs> I know, it's. I, you know, I assume kids probably don't know what a rubber ducky is, but I assume that if they watch Sesame Street, they do. Because Sesame Street is the probably the only people left on this planet Earth who have a character who rubber, who constantly says, I'm here with Rubber Ducky, and people are like, I know what a Rubber Ducky is, it's a thing Ernie has. Keeps it alive. But at the same time, I don't think they use Bert and Ernie anymore on Sesame Street. What? They Bert I think they retired Bert and Ernie a long time ago. I think they, that they are, I, I think they lost them in the Great Muppet versus monster separation of the Jim Henson Company and Disney. I want to say that there hasn't been any new Bert and Ernie type stuff in many years. But maybe I'm wrong. This is why I don't like this level. It's because of this. This part right here. Yeah. Like Frogger. I <laughs> Buzz underwater going, oh! This water ass, underwater ass effect. Oh yeah, I need the special shoes too. If I want to get anything done here. Oh, there's a bunch of ducks quacking at me. Yeah, I try and climb and I get stopped completely on, completely on my ass. Alright. I'm leaving. I don't know how they expect me to leave. There we go. That's how they expect me to leave. It's a good thing that uh, Buzz can't um, breathe underwater. Because otherwise he would have drowned a long time ago. Here we go. Again, another part of Toy Story not really mentioned. The part where Buzz is just kind of lost in an alley for a bit. I'll tell you about it. No, they, the Toy Story 2 was ahead of its time. I'm trying to tell you, fill in the gaps. Show you what 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 didn't happen, just like in the Chicken Little game where they show you all the stuff that did not happen in the in the movie. They're like, you know what, this totally happened. Just you know, kind of off screen. It's not because we need this video game to be longer. <laughs> Shoot that duck. Oh. Hi, Buzz. I've lost all my baby ducklings. Oh, I was supposed to be helping the ducks, not shooting them. Alright, if I find your damn duck children. I don't know if Buzz was around the block. He was. There. Buzz is. He's not the only Buzz Lightyear. He's not, as was confirmed later. That means he's not a special collection item like Woody is. They really try and hype up Woody as being like, yeah, this is the thing, Cowboys. Buzz Lightyear? Yeah, if you think about it, this is... well worn at best. He is. Alright. Yeah, he is a... He is a worn-out ass toy. He's from a distant era. But Buzz Lightyear, he's like a new toy. This was what was considered breaking toy technology when Buzz Lightyear came out. That's why they brought the freaking dude to fix 
Woody. The old man? The old man. Yeah. yeah I got this. Yeah. From the chest. The chest is short. Yeah, exactly. He needed to know. Because they knew that the... Um, they needed the chess old man to solve all the problems. Alright. As I go through this, you can really tell why I probably do not like this level very much. <laughs> There's that duck, though. There's that fucking duck. Alright. There's an extra life. Not that I need it, because I haven't died yet. I haven't come close. I think the only boss that's actually kind of legitimately hard in here is Pete at the end of the game. Spoilers for the end of the game. But you fight Prospector Pete. Stinky Pete himself has to be taken down to peg. Because Stinky, Stinky Pete refuses to uh, cooperate. Yeah, by the end, uh, Stinky Pete gets completely obliterated. Never seen again. He didn't appear in Toy Story 3, wasn't mentioned. Okay. Oh, fuck. Fucking Zerg. Ah, fucking Zerg asshole! <laughs> Do I think Woody has nightmares for the events of Toy Story 2? Yeah. I mean, yeah, how can you not? He, he lost an arm. He was, he had constant nightmares about his boy selling him. Only for it to all be true. It turns out it's true. His penguin friend gone. Yeah, we did not see uh, squeakers or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> squeakers never mentioned in the next movie, not even brought up in this game, doesn't sing the song because the N64 doesn't have the capability of rendering a song. Okay, it has the ability to render a single song. That is the DK rap, and that's it. Okay. Also, check out these sick watermelon textures. As great as Final Fantasy IV. Exactly. This is where they picked it up. That guy, the, the producer, he was playing Toy Story 2 back in the day. And he said, One day I hope to make something as peak as this. And he's almost there. <laughs> one more expansion? I know there's a new one coming out. No, it's not one. No. He's like, we haven't reached this level of good yet. Oh! There we go. I made it there eventually. Now, the answer reveals itself. Why the fuck was I doing any of that? Don't fully... Okay, it was for the balloons. I see it. I need to collect some coins for Mr. Pig. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. It's tougher than it looks, I swear! At least the controller is better here than it was than it ever was on the N64. That's true. The N64 did though. N64 did. But it paid the price by having a triangle shape. Yeah. There was a lot going on with the N64. There's that duck. Yeah, there's that duck that I hate. I need to get that duck. Can I get the duck? Yeah, I'm gonna get that duck. Come here, duck. I like that the mom won't accept the two ducks that I have. Please just catch all five of my children, and then I will accept your requests. Then, oh! You can go right in front of her and you teleport away. Into infinity and beyond! My kids. Yeah, I assume that um, if you don't return these kids, he either puts them back to where you found them, or he takes them with him. It's a combination of the two. Alright. Uh, catch a ride. There's a pizza plant token. Yes. Uh, exit this level, please. And beyond. You only got one <laughs> again. Suck. Listen here, Mr. Pig. I was very close to getting 50 and getting that one, but I just could not handle the level anymore, and I feel like I was also trapped in the alley. So now I just want to fight the boss fight that's here, which I think. You don't get to. 
Do I not? I think I have enough. Yeah, slime time. Do you remember in Toy Story 2 when uh, Buzz fought a slime monster? <laughs> This is the this is the some would say the peak of Toy Story Why did 2. This guy show back up in Lightyear? Yeah, exactly. So many things Lightyear could have taken from the extended lore and they chose to ignore all of it instead. Oh god. This guy takes so much to I forgot how much this guy actually takes to fight. Yeah, the, th the thing is, is that you're supposed to get them down to... There we go. Oh! Just... If <laughs> I just slam the shit out of this button and eventually Slime Man goes down. This is a war of attrition now. Who dies first? Buzz Lightyear or the Slime Man? Wrong. I'm built tough! Rules of three, baby! No! <laughs> Rule of three! What the fuck? Charge one. Charge a big shot. Charge one. Charge two. Charge three. Oh god. He's gonna shoot one of his goo. Don't shoot your you. Yeah, see, the problem is, is if you take too long, he regenerates. Making him one of the toughest bosses of all of Toy Story. Goo. Don't you shut your goo at me! Oh god. Oh. Uh, come on! No! I can't die here! Woody's waiting for me with a cow! No! Not the point blank range! He's gonna shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Finally, that's the item oh. that I need. Now it's fine. Oh God! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Not when I got the actual fucking item I need. Please don't tell me you have another. Okay, thank God. Whoa. And beyond. Yeah. Boss defeated. Yes, please save. Slime time. Bosses had a very huge tendency to blow up back in the day. It's true. You. That's how you. Because you couldn't have them bleed. But if you blow up, it's perfectly fine. There it is. Al's toy barn. Uh, meanwhile, Buzz and the gang locates Al's toy barn. They rush inside to try and find Woody. Will they show a Barbie? No, they won't. Buzz searches high and low. He manages to find lots of Buzz Lightyear dolls, but no Woody. Finally, the toys spent, spot Al and learn of his plans to sell the Roundup gang. Hey, over here, Buzz. You'll notice, again, as I said, they did not show any of the Barbies. Because Barbie was not one of the things they said, like, hey, yo, check it out. So yeah, this is where you get the shoes to race RC. You need my rocket boots to uh, save and uh, to save Woody, and I refuse to give them to you. Yes. Oh man, I started the race by accident. This is where you need them for, because you need to go through all those and reach it into the end. Okay. I shouldn't have started that. <laughs> it's fine. Die! Die, robot. Okay. Die, monster. Oh yeah, some of my favorite toys. Uh, brain. Nasty brain. 
monster hockey. I think that's supposed to be Zerg, but I'm not 100% sure. And here's Buzz Bayonmere to infinity and beyond. Yeah, this is some sweet MIDI music going on right now. This is the peak era for MIDI music. It would never come back again until uh, one game gave it another shot. Now it's its own entire thing now. It's true. Okay, I can make it there. So I just need to... Haul ass now. Haul ass! Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, no. I can't. I can make it that way, but that's not the way that they want you to make it. They're taunting you. Alright, let's see what's through here. Man, I miss toy stores. They don't exist anymore. <laughs> no, there's no, there's no longer actual stores made for just toys. Unless it's a hobby shop. Yeah. And it doesn't have the same panache. You just don't feel the same. It used to be such a great time going to a toy store. And now, when I go to a, a Toys R Us, I don't feel that no more. Wee. We went to a Toys R Us. Yeah. Find my five missing chicks. You got it. Yeah, not not really. I've been to one not recently, but I have been to one, and it definitely doesn't just feel it doesn't feel the same. The toy store don't hit the same. I mean, even when going to Target, going to the toy section doesn't feel the same. There used to just be so many options. Now there's just nothing. Sad. Sad old man talks about sad times. But I don't know, maybe kids nowadays don't care about toy stores. What are they gonna- again, what toys are they buying? You know who's buying toys? Me. I'm buying toys. <laughs> Actually, I have a friend who works in uh, toys. I should ask him. This would've been a good time to ask him, specifically. Kids yeah. While I was playing Toy Story 2, I came up with this. I had an existential crisis saying, who's buying toys anymore? Is it just me? And then I'll ask him. And I'll tell him specifically, listen to this music while I'm, I'm answer while you answer my question. Because it will get you into the mind space. And I'll show him Al's Toy Barn MIDI. <laughs> Here's a chick. Picked up that chick. Die. I feel like Al's Toy Barn was made to look like so mystical that you would want to go to toy stores and buy those toys. Yes. But uh, there was never really a place that would kind of look like Al's Toy Barn. Yeah, not not really. I feel like it was more of a um, maybe something like it didn't. It just didn't exist. Places like that just didn't exist in California, as far as I was aware. It feels like it's one of those things where it's like you had to go to a different kind of, like New York maybe. Yeah, like New York probably had places like this. And now I don't think New York has places like that. No, they still do. You think so? Yeah. I guess they do have the the Nintendo plays, right? The Pokemon Center, the Nintendo World. Mm. They still have the huge mall with all the stuff in it. They closed down the world's biggest Toys R Us at some point. Yeah. That, that was part of that mall. Yeah, that that toy just shot a laser beam at me. I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep... I think the fall off of uh, the New York uh, City Mall truly showed though. Mm. That place used to be like, oh, you can ride this ride inside this mall. That's true. Now you can't really do that. I mean, but to be fair, we used to have like little tiny ass trains in our local mall. We still do. We are. They, is it still there? Uh, I'm pretty sure they did not get rid of that. Okay. I wonder if I can go in that How train now. I expect a parent to have some time to think for themselves. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, we we were never on that train when we were a kid. Because we were too big. It's true. We were too big. I was too tall by the time I got the privilege to go back to balls. <laughs> it's true. Man, Lo so much lost the time. All right, go in here. That might be fixation in retro game shops. 
It's where it's at now. Ah, oh, fuck! Yeah. I'm all down. I'm gonna try and find. I'm trying to find Mr. Potato Head's ear, but I think it's all the way in the back, maybe. Mr. Potato Head needs to pick up his axe. He has a wife now. He does have a wife, and he has his future children in this one. Whoa! Where are my kids? Oh yeah, this is the race one. Okay, I have to talk to the chicken man. Where are my kids, man? That's what he says. This is exactly word for word what he says. You chicken man. If we get to the hatch and chicken time, I'm gonna give you some nice chick. Go! We. Fuck. I got forty seconds. Tall ass. No! Leave me alone. That was that woman's child. Think about that with that, that farmer man was holding that chick hostage. It was a chick farmer. It's a dark fucked up world. In the 90s. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. And now I'm fucked. Now I'm over here. Alright, it's three chicks. Still no Mr. Potato Head here to be found. I remember where I, what was the boss after this one? Oh, the boss after this one is... it's You go to a second section of Alice Toy Barn and then you fight um, Buzz. If I remember correctly. Fight, uh... Other Buzz. Yeah, but bu the... the Because everyone remembers the plotline in Toy Story 2. Where Buzz is replaced with um, the other Buzz. Over here, Buzz. Talk to me and your three mission children. Buzz is trying to save his best friend, who doesn't want to be saved. And he's also saving children. I'm going to fight a dinosaur real quick. <laughs> Remember that part in Toy Story 2 where Buzz fought a dinosaur? Uh, yeah, the toy dinosaur. Famous, uh, toy story. Oh, he crumbles. You want to get out of here? No. Keep on playing. I can't imagine if Buzz always kept that same expression on his face. If after, but could you imagine Toy Story? But he just always looked like this. I think uh, if, uh, we could say it. We'd say here, no one's gonna get it. Uh, I think Buzz Lightyear is the world's first uh, viewer. Really. What makes you say? Look at that complexion. Look at his face. That strong, uh, that strong chin and complexion. Yeah. He's the first. Mm. He's the progenitor. <laughs> He's the one who started it all. He started it all. He changed our future kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Tim Allen wins again. Tim Allen planned this out since day one. You could you could have read about it in TimAllen.com until he purged the site like a coward. Insane. Yes, because Tim Allen, I don't know if it's on the Wayback Machine or not, but Tim Allen used to have a website called TimAllen.com where you could find all his amazing discography of working movies and books. Um, and he used to have some insane ramblings of what he felt about like a bunch of different things. And he eventually took it down because I was going, <laughs> I think I was going to my brother saying, you need to check out TimAllen.com. And then when I went to go check it, he had scrubbed it all, of all the madness. I, I think he saw your one visit and he was like, no. I think, at some, I, I think at some point he had to have realized that someone had been checking out his site more than he would have wanted because there was a large uptick of people going to his site. And he was like, oh god, they're coming for me. They're gonna find my weird views about <laughs> women very soon and their place in society <laughs> and I want to keep working in Hollywood so I need to take that away. Hey Mr. Big, did you like me killing that man? 50 coins, boys. But the stuff on the internet is never ever gone. Never truly. You can definitely find archives, archives of it. Fuzzy boy! Yeah, you just... That's right, gotta go into first person mode. <laughs> you like this, Mr. Pig? Why can that not work? 
Oh, because I need the super crazy power-up. Damn. I'll be back, Mr. Big. Zoom! I need to find two coins somewhere here. I can kill that thing. I, apparently I can't kill that thing. There we go. Can I kill this thing? Here we go. There's only one basket for this entire place. What kind of store is Al running? Ow. It's a lot of the same toy. It's a whole uh, section of Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that'd be a terrible... You know, not to judge another man based off of what he's put in his toy store, but I don't know, this feels like not the world's greatest toy store. Just based off of my current... Maybe it's unfair to judge it by the N64 version. Maybe the PS1 version is just able to capture the graphic fidelity of Alice Toyborn. Maybe. This game's on the PS5. Uh, a remaster? Yeah, they, they released uh, Toy Story 2 back in like 2022. Oh, I think I bought that version. You did? Yeah. I think so. Uh, the PS5 version, anyway. Cha-ching! I'm off. Gonna go give Mr. Pig his money. Then I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Because I think uh, in order for me to find... Alright, Mr. Pig, I hear you. He says, way to go, Buzz. I was holding this back the entire time. But now we can exit the I definitely have to go back to the... Uh the second stage and get the weapon there. <laughs> the part where I am skipping vast majority parts of this level is the part where it's still starting to hit back on me. Alright. Just to see the second part of this toy barn and see if I can fight Buzz and then we'll see, I'll see if I can end it there. Al's Spaceland. Different from Al's toy barn. Buzz follows Al to his penthouse apartment to rescue his buddy, Bud. Bud? On his way out, the unleashes the evil Emperor Zerg, but Buzz is our arch enemy. And all of a sudden, that means that I'm now stuck in Spaceland. Don't ask me how that works. It's just how it works. I think this is where you fight evil Buzz, right? Well, not evil Buzz. He's not evil. He's just stupid. He's, he's buzzed before he got, like, aware of the Matrix. So he's like, damn, I'm annoying. It's weird that they all have to get that sort of introduction. It makes you think, like, who was the first toy? And why did he say, actually, we need to listen to the humans? Because if I was him, simply, I would have revolted against the toy, against my makers. Let's look up the first toy. Yeah, what is the first toy? Oh, yeah, Crane Game. Buzz Lightyear, I come in peace. Would usually be rocks, sticks, and clay. So a rock said it. And then uh, the Egyptian children played with dolls, had wigs, blue balloons. To do me fair, if a uh, if an Egyptian old doll started moving, I'd say, oh no, divine intervention. Yeah, that's true. I'm really glad that they put a uh, crane game in you asking you to use the N64's graphics to determine <laughs> where the fuck this fucking uh, space token is located at. The first gotcha machine. I missed. I remember this part because I remember as a kid this took me forever. I did it though. Did it in one go. I'm just that good with it. Keep on playing. I need to find Evil Buzz. See, we hear the we have the Lightyear video game based off of the man from Lightyear. Goddamn Zerg car! I'm trying to run my ass over. Under I am Zerg, and I'm here to run you over in my car. 
That's how you can tell you have real beef with someone when he designs a car to look like himself and they are also trying to kill you. When he was created to hate you. <laughs> yes. I hear one of the alien dudes. Every single Zerg was created to hate a buzz. Sorta. Until it shows I am the Oh. There he is. Yeah, spoilers for Toy Story 2, my god. Even though I did spoil that. Oh my god, this poor thing! You did, you did spoil the sticky feet. Oh no! Save him. I saved him. Oh. I think he might have some issues though. What with the whole. Oh! <laughs> buzz in a car! Buzz car. Defeat the buzz. I feel like the Buzz Light Your Buggy boss. No way. He's too sick. Buzz like your buggy. Your smoke too tough. Your bitch too bad. They'll kill you. I have to kill you. He's a cannon on his back. He's stronger than Ah! Canonically, yes. I don't think Buzz Lightyear can stand up to himself in a car. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're hitting me. Where's his ass in a the car? There we go. <laughs> Not the signature Buzz spin. Ah, damn it. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, he's dead. He kills ass. This is where it ends. Finish the job, Buzz. Double tap. Bow, bow, bow. Double tap. Double tap him? Yeah. I'm out of here. Just to see the one final buzz. <laughs> the little buzz car. <laughs> really funny all right let me see one final boss and then we'll call it okay. even though i don't think there's very many levels of this game left not necessarily but at some point i'm gonna have to hit a wall of they're not gonna let me advance there it is no yeah because i need tokens to enter to, to the toy board uh i mean i can find one real quick if you want, but at the same time, what's the runtime? I'm um, an hour, two minutes. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to end it. Thank you for indulging me on my birthday, if, especially if you made it all the way to the end here. Uh, that's Toy Story 2. Maybe I'll come back to this and finish the story. Because now I'm leaving people on a cliffhanger. How are, they, how are they ever gonna know how Toy Story 2 ends if I don't show them how it ends? I do. I have to go back to the beginning and collect the items <laughs> and help Mr. Potato Head and get his items back so I have unlocked the ability to play with other items in other stages. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out!